Hey guys, it's Wendy, aka Kitty Street, and I'm back with another quick Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I hope everybody is doing marvelous, and by the way, happy Mardi Gras. If you're celebrating, I hope everybody is going to have a wild party, and if you're not, thank you for checking out my channel, and we will try to have some fun here as well. I want to tell you guys, I have been at some Dollar Trees again, and I have been blown away with the things that I am finding. I, again, don't know if it's because they've upped the price to $1.25 that they're bringing on items that I don't even see how they're making them for $1.25. Um, I would pay probably $5.25 for, for some of the things that I'm finding. A dollar twenty-five is nothing on some of these gadgets and good finds that I have been finding. I am just blown away with all that rambling on. Let me get started. I'm going to jump right into this. The first category that I have for you guys, I'm going to call it like electronics, but also slash automotive. Um, I found this Westinghouse battery charger. Now I am. Um, have bought battery chargers in the past, never was a fan of them. But when I saw this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five, I'm like, this is probably okay for a buck and a quarter. So I looked at it, picked it up, you know, I thought, wow, I'm gonna haul this. And then I really read the um, instructions and realized, uh, I don't know if it's other batteries, it's actually certain batteries you have to buy for it. So I did not have them. This is just his battery charger by Westinghouse. It's got the little, what you know, ways to do it. It's actually where you can put it into your computer. You can actually do it with a cube. I had to go hunt one down if you want to stick it in a cube. Either way, a dollar twenty-five for a battery charger, but I did not have the battery. So I've been holding this um, item for a couple of hauls now, and I finally found the batteries. I was at one of my local, one of my favorite Dollar Trees that's real local to me, and I found the double A and the triple A of the Westinghouse. They both go into, oops, they go into the um, battery chargers for these, and I am going to be recharging my batteries. I'm going to stick them in some stuff right away to get them cranked up and used, and I'm going to try to see if this thing works. I'm going to do a review. I'm promising you that, and when I promise something, I do deliver. It's just I have so many uh, hours in a day, and I'm trying to plan, 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 but I am going to definitely give you a review on this because if it is good, guys, I didn't, I bought two of them. I don't know if I put the other one over here or not because I bought two, um, of the triple A's to go into one of them. And then I also bought two of the double A's. So I will be trying these out and I'm hoping that this right here is gonna be an amazing buy. And I'm telling you if it is, I will be saving some money on some batteries, okay? All right, jumping into some car category. Um, I did pick up another one of these little trees. Um, new car scent. I love the smell of this. Um, my car is not so new new anymore, but I'll tell you what, the smell of it, it makes me think that it is. Um, little can. Um, I ran out of my other one, so I grabbed that up when I saw it. I also pick up this tire shine. Now, I have... Um, the I bought some of the armor all, but I gave it all away for gifts, and I could beat myself up that I did not buy me the armor all um, and kept one of the bottles for me because, of course, now I don't see them anywhere. But sooner or later, they'll come back out. But in the meantime, I did pick up this one. I've used this brand before. It's Auto Bright. It cleans, shines, and protects your tires. It's a huge can. It's um ten ounces. Um, I have tried. I have used this one in the past. I would rather have the armor all, but in a tight pinch, I said I'm going to pick that up and get my tires clean. Um, this isn't really automotive, but when I saw it, I said, you know, I'm going to pick up this air pump because it was actually a little bit better than the one little that I've been seeing. It has the little um, adapter thing. If you can see that, it's like serious business metal. And I thought this is pretty good for $1.25. It's made by Toolbench. It's an air, point, air pump 
with hose and needle. And I've got it in red. I think they had it in black as well. But I only picked up one because you never know when you may need to air up something in a jiffy. And if you don't have the air pump with you, it's going to be a mess. So for a dollar and a quarter, I picked up uh, air pump guys okay with that said i'm gonna jump into a small um i'm gonna call it food and household category and then i'm gonna jump into some crafts and then i'm gonna do uh, hang in there guys to the end of this video because i found some stuff for the garden that for a dollar and 25 I do not know how they manufacture it, put it out, market it, and sell it. It's crazy. But with that said, let me do a small little household item in some food categories. Guys, I picked up this 10 count. Um, basically, they're just canning snap lids. Now, I'm assuming they probably have the mason jars or some point or another, but I do a lot of thrifting, go to yard sales and things like that, and I bought a humongous like 50 uh, count mason jars of all different sizes a couple years back before I ever even thought about doing hauls. And when I saw these, I picked them up because I, I Googled them up there. These things are not $1.25, not for 10. And this is just the standard one. It's um, the little the little lids that go into the, the actual, the circle lids that is the middle part for the mason jar. And I was blown away because I have actually been wanting to can. I wanna do some can, uh, pickled okra and I'm gonna to try to do some cucumbers as well this summer. So yeah, this is some canning snap lids by Cooking Concepts, um, 10 count. I only picked up one because this will do 10 jars, should be plenty, but for the money, I might go back and grab a couple more just to have on hand because I'm gonna start canning guys and I think this will be great. I was so pleasantly surprised with that. I also picked up this um, little item here. Um, I always pick these pods up for my dishwasher. They're the Ultra Shine, um, and it does have 10 pods. You know, I do a dishwasher like every other day because um, I hand wash a lot of things, but these little pods do work. So I grabbed one of those for $1.25. It's still a good deal. Just got a few um, food items. I picked up this mince garlic because I was running low. It's the Supreme Traditions. I love it. I love the size of it. It fits perfectly in my refrigerator door. Eight ounces, wonderful flavor. Um, you know, basically I picked these up because I do like fresh garlic, but this right here is great for sauteing. It seasons your food. It, it You can do a lot with this and it's a big old jar and I love it. Um, when does it expire? I think these things go on and on and on forever. And of course it's in a black lid where I can't see it. Okay. It says good by April 28, 2023. You probably cannot see that because I could barely see it. But yeah, I got some minced garlic. I pick up several of these every time I see it. I picked up these, which I don't eat them, but my kids do. They love them. The Armor um, Vienna Bites and we do them with pork and beans and things like that, and my kids love them. I haven't seen these at the Dollar Tree in a long, long time, and for $1.25, you know, I think it's a pretty good deal. It's 10 ounces, um, it's the original flavor, and it has a shelf life to December 1st of 2023, if you can see that right there. And yeah, it's just a little, um, those little bitty, you know, beanie weenies, if you want to call it that. That's what we make with them. And I picked that up because I thought it was a cute little thing. Last food item I got was this Campbell's brand name, Kitchen Classics. Um, this is the um, chicken noodle soup. And look how hearty that looks. Usually when you buy the chicken noodle soups, they're just kind of bland. But this has got lots of vegetables in it. Um, it is 14.5 ounces. And it is good until... March 24th of 2023. Um, yeah, I got some classic chicken noodle soup, you know, for emergencies when you can't make it homemade. All right, let me jump into some craft items. I haven't been getting many craft items. I don't know why I've been passing it up because I've been buying so many other items throughout the store, but I went ahead and decided to pick up a few things because I could not pass it up. I found this retractable um, support holder i guess that's what it's called it's just this container that has a little handle and a little screw top and you can put anything in there you don't necessarily have to do whatever um pins and stuff like that i have got felt um pieces and i also have um little bendy things that i have been 
throw in little baggies and I'm going to store them in here. I bought several of these. I will probably be putting some brushes in there, but it says for brush, for pencils, and for pictures. I guess you could roll pictures up in there. You see that right there? Pretty cool. This is by Crafter Square um, and it's just a um, retractable holder. It I don't want to open it up because of the plastic making noises, but it makes it has a little string and you can lock it up and close it. And I thought for $1.25, that's pretty doggone cool. I also picked up this Jot three-piece flexible mailers. Um, you see what you can do right there with them. You can mail things that are in, you know, different things, clothing. Um, I thought this was a pretty good deal if you mail things. It says two-time reusable. I have no idea what that means because once you use it, how can you reuse it? But anyhow, there's three pieces. And if you're, you know, doing anything like Etsy or you're doing anything when you've got to mail something that you or you sold online or whatever, and it's a soft material. I thought this would be pretty good, and Jot always is durable, so I picked up one of those. I also picked up this giant gift bag um, right here for a baby shower, because um, it's unisex, because we don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but it had all the cute little elephants on there, and it was all different colors, so I said this would be perfect, because if it, you don't know if it's a girl or a boy, and I'm loving it. It's humongous gift sack for $1.25. I still think that that is a good deal because try to go to Walmart and buy one of those. Okay, I had hauled some other of this Bostic glue. Well, I found another um, variety of it. This is multi-purpose adhesive for crafts, wood, paper, and fabric, 36 grams. Um, I tried the other one and it is pretty doggone good. And it, it's very thick, but it's it's it sticks and it doesn't make a mess. I love the applicator. Um, I believe it was, it's not on here. The other one had them on there, but they got different um, um, items and things like that. So I guess it's gonna be probably coming to the Dollar Tree, but it's called Bostic. I'm thinking that's how you say, how you pronounce it. And this right here has a dual applicator, which I thought was pretty good. And yeah, I want to try this at, for some crafts I'm going to be doing. Um, they got the, I don't know if school's not, no time coming back in style, but when they do have school supplies, I usually pick up these scissors, but it's not school time. Um, school's been in for a minute, so, but they had these out there and I went ahead and grabbed another one because I use scissors all the time. I like to have one in every single room of my house. I picked up a red pair. This is by Westcott. It's a great name brand scissors, five-year warranty, durable stainless steel, a lightweight, comfortable design, and I got the eight inch in the red. I thought that was a good buy. I have not tried this, had been eyeballing it, and I am terrible about, you know, messing up one little thing, and I, it annoys me, so I said, let me try to buy this, because those little ones you roll keep, the tape keeps getting jammed, and it drives me nuts. So this is a correction pen, 10 milligrams by Jot, J-O-T, and I'm going to try this very soon. I'm gonna take this to work, um, and I'm going to use it for when I make little slip-ups and I'm going to be loving that. Um, also, um, I picked up some of this Promarks multi-purpose spray glue. This is a repeat um, buy for me. Guys, if you, you need a quick, um, you don't want gunky glue, this is perfect. This is great for posters. It's great for felt. Um, 1.8 ounces. It's extra strength, acid-free, and dries very clear. Repeat by, um, if you can see that, I'm so sorry about that glare, but yeah, this is a great product. I've used that in the past. Last but not least in the office supply um, crafts kind of section I'm into is another Jot product. I found these little bitty mini pencil holders, but I'm not using it for a pencil holder. I've got enough of those, or actually this says pen holder. Um, I'm going to be putting makeup brushes in there. Um, I have a little set on my vanity that this is going to go perfect on, and I'm gonna put all those little multiple brushes that I have. Um, I'm gonna put them in there, but I'm also gonna use this when I clean them as a dryer because it's plastic and it has all these different compartments. And I thought it was real cute. And of course it has these twivel so you can turn it around and Jot is always on point, loving it. Okay, I have a few um, makeup, I guess, um, items and um, health and beauty. I did finally find, this is one of my wish lists, the Aroma Guru, Guru uh, warming oil. 
this one right here is the breathe. It just says breathe. And I was like, oh, that sounds great. Relax, refresh, and unwind. Um, our breathe blend consists of five unique essential oils. Eucalyptus, peppermint, which I love, basil, tea tree, and rosemary. Take a deep breath and enjoy the aroma of this special essential oil blend. Now they had another one, but I only picked up one. Um, I do not have a little warming thing. I, I don't, and I've been looking for them and I used to have them all over the house and I got away from them because I was using all those little wax ones, but I'm going to find another one um, soon to use this in. And I'm going to be putting it, in, you know, in my bedroom at night when I sleep. I think that I'm going to use this because I love these, pro these, um, the essential oils in there and I especially love the one with the peppermint. That's great. Okay. The only makeup item I got because the last haul I kind of did overdid the makeup is these um, Maybelline color essentials. I picked them up mostly because of the colors, which you can't really tell. This one's like a royal blue and this one's a very gorgeous purple, um, but you really can't tell it on there. The colors of them, this, the royal blue one is nude thrill. I think that's what that says. And then this one here is called Deepest Cherry. And I'm not going to open them up for time purposes, but I put got these because I never have um, lipsticks in my purse. I have lipsticks in my, lipstick in my makeup bag uh, and that I keep at home. And I also have one in my travel bag. When I travel, I have it. But when I'm in my purse, I'm like, I do not have any lipstick. And sometimes you need to refresh. So I thought Maybelline Deepest Cherry and Nude Thrill um, name brand. I'm loving the, the um, outside covers. And the colors are pretty good. I got a neutral and I got a, a pretty cherry red. I hope it's going to be great. Okay, I did pick up one of these buckets. Um, because I needed one for some things that I'm going to do. I just wanted a plain bucket to store things in, but also to, if I needed to wash up some certain things, it's by Essentials. It's a dish pan, $1.25. I thought that was pretty good deal. Still, it's loving the plastic things and the containers at the Dollar Tree. I also um, decided to stock up on things for pain and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on that you can get some good bargains um, if you look close enough so one of the first things i bought was this cool patch um, i've been getting a lot of tension headaches for some reason and i don't always want to take some advil or ibuprofen or whatever so i said i'm going to try these i've used these in the past a long time ago and when i saw them i said i'm going to pick this up and I'm going to use it. So this is methylated cooling relief, cooling relief from fever, headaches, migraines, sinus pain, and overheating. And it has three of these little gels in it that you put on your forehead. And I thought that it was worth sharing. I also always keep on hand, and I was running low, this athletic tape. My daughter was in soccer and in basketball, and we used to keep this stuff. We went through it like water. Um, so I always keep these on hand. And when I realized we didn't have much, I said, let me go ahead and pick some up because you never know when you're going to need some of this stuff. I'm telling you, this is the Assured brand um, athletic tape, one and a half to eight yards. Always have that on hand. I also, and this got smashed when I was moving to do this haul. So forgive me for that. Another pain reliever patch. You can put them on different parts of your body. Now, I have tried these. They're not, you know, the greatest, but they do they do help. They 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 help a little bit. This is by Pure Aid. Um, and there's 20 patches. That's what, what I like about it. And sometimes you just need some little tender loving care, you know, on your muscles. And if you work in the yard or or you do too many strenuous exercises, or you just turn the wrong way and it strains you. These are pretty cool to have. It, it's for back aches, arthritis, strains, bruises, and sprains. And this is 2.56 inches to 1.65 inches. And they're little patches. Let me see if I can open them up in here. And um, you pull them out and you can tell I've already been in them. And this is what they look like. They are wonderful. They, they don't look like they're much, but they work. And they work when you have like little boo-boos and things that you want. And they have a, actually a pleasant smell to them. I was going to see if they had something in them, but it just says temporary relief of minor aches and pains and muscles and joints. And it doesn't say what flavor it is, but it smells very nice. Okay. So yeah, 
got some of those. I also picked up one of these. I have the wrist one as well, but it's, you know, somewhere else in another drawer. But um, I had a little issue where I kind of not twisted my ankle, but I had a little mess with my with my ankle. And I said, let me try this. So I got one of these Assured Brands um, ankle supports. And I thought that was pretty good. This for men and women. Um, and it has two of them in there. And I'm going to be using that very, very soon. I also always keep this Icy Hot on hand. Um, it's Icy Hot Therapy, therapy for Pain, Arthritis, uh, Bertitis, Body Aches, Back Aches, Leg Cramps, and Sore Muscles, Extra Strength, 1.25 ounces, Icy Hot Pain Relieving Cream. I always keep that on hand, and it's good until um, it expires november of 2022 so got a little bit of time on that and it does work that's a repeat repeat brand um i also picked up some more of this assured elastic bandage um it's the soft one it is just a different color than the other one right here i like to have both of them for some reason because they're a dollar 25 and it's worth it try to go buy those at walmart and last but not least in that this category i got one of these assured pain relief packs these are excellent um these are repeat buys if you need to have something either cold or hot and you want to use um you know to have the pain relief um you definitely want to try these they're freezable and microwavable and there's only one in them but this is a huge one it's almost as big as my head guys for a dollar twenty-five for pain relief, a compressor. Um, yeah, it says temporary relief for muscle aches, um, arthritis, and swelling. So a good buy for a dollar twenty-five. So I keep things like that on hand because you never know. You never know when you're gonna need an item for pain. Okay, let's jump into like garden section because I have oh my OMG products here. Um, you know, I haul some I see people hauling some of these things that I'm about to show you, and that's wonderful. But I have never really had any reason to pick up any of these over the door hooks. Because by the way, I hate when they hang on the door and the door won't shut. But I saw a craft where someone bent these over and stuck them in somewhere and made a craft and they hung their coffee cups over there. And I thought I might try that. So I picked up one of these essential brand over the hooks and it's pretty long. It's got one, it's got six, is that one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, six hooks. And I'm going to see if I can repeat that craft pretty soon. I also picked up a couple more hooks and these I'm actually going to put in underneath my stairs and my um, storage that I have um, because they have these different um, areas to hang things on it. And I'm going to hang them on the um, wood piece that's extending and I'm going to hang different bags of stuff that I buy from the Dollar Tree in categories so I'll know where they're at and I can keep up with them. And these are pretty durable. I got two of these over the door uh, hooks and it's also by Essential Brand and it's in the black. And I thought those were a good buy. Guys, I found me a saw. I bought one and I think my son took it or it just disappeared. I have no clue if this is even a good one. I never got to use the other one I bought. It's by Toolbench um, and it's just a hacksaw. Uh, everybody needs a hacksaw and I can't wait to try this out pretty, pretty, pretty soon. But here's what I found at the Dollar Tree. Let me show you the first part of it because there's it's two sections. So here is one of the, it's like a mop stick, right? You know, like you would get a mop stick and it has the little grooves here on the bottom. And you think, oh, well, what, what, why would you even want this? What's the whole purpose of this? And I didn't get one, I bought two of them, okay? And I bought these because I am about to be blown away what I'm about to show you. These right here, guys, have individual, <laughs> and when I say individual, attachments it's almost like the snap-on here is the rake one and i'm going to try to do this on camera as quick as i can because i do not want to make this super long but you stick this into this attachment i don't even know if i can do it on camera i probably should have tried this before i um let me put this one away and maybe it won't fall on me but you stick these on there and it's a rake and i'm pretty sure oh i know why <laughs> there's a piece of plastic there. So I'm not gonna pull that off because this is not gonna get too far too long, but it is a rake and I didn't buy just one of them. I bought two because they're kind of on the small side. And I said, well, you know, one person can have one and the other person can have another one. And they are just super cute, but that's not the only attachment. 
they had this attachment. This is the, um, the it's a rake but it's a different rake, it's metal. I mean, look at that, I can't put it on because I didn't take that off, I wasn't thinking. But you adapt it to this little piece here, and I'm just like, $1.25, I've gotta have that for my yard. And then they had the other piece that goes on there, and this is the um, garden hoe, okay? Look at this, guys. I mean, even if you never used it, just the looks alone, this is just adorable, and you know, I wanted it, and for a dollar twenty-five um, each, try to go to Lowe's and buy something like that. So you know you got to have somewhere to hang these things on once you do it. So I finally found the um, Garden Essentials little um, holder, and it actually has the pieces on there. And I had seen people hauling these but I had never seen them with these rake pieces and these sticks. So this is basically um, the gadget that you hang them on. Look at, they have the little setup and then the stick that fits right on there. Let's see if it's gonna work. Yay! I am just, I am tickled to death. I thought this was such a great buy and I didn't buy one of them. I bought two of them and I'm gonna put all of my little gadgets on there with the rake metal one, the hoe and the rake pieces. Guys, come on. Dollar Tree, you are blowing me away. I am just tickled to death. If you can, run to your Dollar Tree and find some of these good deals because they are awesome and amazing. I also got one last little item, and this is the Garden Essentials floral scissors or shears to cut different fabrics and things like that. For a dollar, they're very, very sturdy. I'm just tickled to death. I'm looking forward to spring. And with that said, guys, please consider liking uh, my channel and subscribing and I always, always love you to share my videos because it helps my channel grow. And with that said, happy Mardi Gras again, happy spring, happy gardening, and happy Dollar Tree. And until the next one, take care.